<laughs> what made you think about virtual and what made you think about virtual and global back in 2015? I mean, it, it seems par for the course right now, um, yeah. but in 2015, it, you know, I'm, I'm sure you had some folks that asked you that question as well. Why virtual? Why global? Well, it's, it's funny you're asking that question. Like, uh, one of my very good friends is John Nosta yeah, out of New York. He's the number one digital health influencer in North America and one of the best minds we have in digital health in, in, in the world. Yeah. And so when I explained to John what we're trying to do, uh, this is early. Actually, it's late 2014 when we came up with the idea. And John said, well, Michael, you know what? You are actually the, the first truly virtual digital health technology accelerator in the world. And when you hear that from someone who is obviously in the know, yeah, uh, that encouraged me and encouraged us to actually create it. The reason we created the virtual accelerator was simply competition. Because if you remember in uh, kind of from 2012, 13, 14, we started seeing, you know, uh, a, a huge increase in uh, the uh, number of accelerators, particularly in the United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Suddenly, every state had one, two, three, four, five, you know, accelerators, mm -hmm. and they were either private accelerators, they were university-based accelerators, they were, you know, hospital-based accelerators, they were government-supported accelerators, like in New York and other places. And I'm like, wait a minute, now suddenly from 10 accelerators in the United States, within three years, we've seen probably 100 to 120. I'm yeah. like, okay, this is massive competition. There's no way for us to play that game. So what is the game we want to play? Even mm -hmm. in Canada, we had about 10 accelerators at the time. Uh, I believe uh, Israel had, in just in Tel Aviv, they had, I don't know, five accelerators right, yeah, right. in one city, right? So mm -hmm. Uh, when I thought about that, I'm like, okay, uh, how do we play this game? And the way we decided to play the game, we said, well, listen, let's look at sports and let's look at the Olympics. Yeah. So what we want to play, uh, the kind of game we want to play is really uh, let's, uh, uh, um, you know, not spend our time and energy in training entrepreneurs, you know, with the basics, with the 101 of how you start a company. There's yeah. plenty of accelerators out there, university-based in particular, who are, that's their role and that's fine. But I, I thought our role, because we've been in business for a while, is like, let's actually focus on helping startups and entrepreneurs go to the next stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let all these guys focus on, you know, early stage and training. But what we want to do is we want to play with athletes that are kind of Olympic, Olympics ready and, and those are the, the most talented entrepreneurs in the world. And then we are totally agnostic. We don't care what country are you from. We don't care what kind of technology you use. Yeah. What we do care is if you're a true disruptor. Yeah. And then that's kind of how we, we envisioned the, the virtual model. And, and that's basically why we did it. It was really, we looked at the competition and said, well, we can't compete with, uh, I don't know, uh, Rock Health, for example, out of, uh, you know, San Francisco and Boston, or we cannot compete with Matters in Chicago uh, or Healthbox, uh, who had a bunch of offices. So it's like, it was really a differentiation for us. That's mm -hmm. what it was.